In a turn of events that should surprise absolutely no one, President Trump's much-hyped summit with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un in Vietnam this week ended up being an utterly humiliating diplomatic debacle for the United States. While the Republican Party initially tried to tout it as some historic event to move the world towards a safer, more peaceful place, it was clear from the beginning that it would likely turn out to be nothing more than a series of photo ops and a chance for the president to sell his supporters on the idea of himself as some master statesman. In the end, no deal was struck, and Trump succeeded only in giving Kim Jong-un an international platform that he will in turn use as propaganda to increase his standing at home. The United States got nothing.And that wasn't even the worst of it.Today, Trump addressed the tragic death of Otto Warmier, an American who was captured by the North Koreans and died shortly after his release in 2017. The president betrayed Warmier's memory by saying that, while he accepts that something very bad happened to him, he doesn't believe the top leadership knew about it, whitewashing Kim Jong-un's role in Warmier's imprisonment and subsequent passing. Trump added that Kim Jong-un, the brutal totalitarian who in the past has had his own government officials torn apart by anti-aircraft guns, claims to feel very badly about Warmier's treatment and insists he didn't know about it. Stunningly, Trump says he is taking the murderous dictator at his word. Either the president is being incredibly naive or he simply doesn't care about Warmier's death and has decided he'd rather ingratiate himself with Kim than stand up for a dead American.